what's up guys let me introduce you to this topic which is kind of theoretical but it's cool it's the approximation of a PFR remember this is a plug flow reactor with many CSTR so what I'm talking about let me okay let just wonder what will happen if we add a lot of CSTRs small volumes but a lot of them and of course they are connected and now wonder how is the volume going to be I want to tell you that it will actually get more near that of PFR so similar to the trapezoidal rule you will have small rectangles under the curve and you know that the more rectangles you get the more perfect the approximation is so it's, you have these rectangles well it's not that cool but the more rectangles or trapezoid you get the more you get into that curve so forget all that let's go to graphics so let's say we have one CSTR actually the PFR will be something like this the volume of a PFR will be this and this is the axis with only one let's say n equals one CSTR but what happens if we have two oh well we're improving our axis so this is axis and this is axis we have n equals 2. Now what happens if we have 3? Each time goes lower and lower and lower excess of volumes. So now hopefully you're getting the idea. Let's add another one. We have now 6. We have almost no excess. Of course we will have always, but it's getting lower and lower and lower. And yes, hopefully you get the idea, as you approximate to n equals infinity, you're going to have that much reactors that you will actually be behaving like a PFR. Mathematically, of course, because in the lab or in the plant, you will have a lot of reactors to take care about. So, as n, okay, let's suppose n is the number of CSTRs, then let n go or achieve infinity then the volume required for those CSTRs in total is going to be the one of one PFR so that's awesome that you can actually get the volume of a PFR with many CSTRs that's only theory I'm not going to see problems if you need more problem please check out the web page it's here go click here and go to courses then reactor engineering I have a lot of solved problems there you will love them. I think I got the problems on the back of the book. Uh, all those answers, or you have some homework there or so, you can check it here. And yeah, just go to chapter two, conversion and reactor sizing. And next, we're going to see the PFR in series, which is not that great deal. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.